All right, Coach. Illyria, six placers. Yeah. Three in the finals, three on the backside. Tell me about your seven, semifinal round. How'd you feel it went for you guys? Oh, uh, semifinals went, it went okay. The first, uh, Shaver wrestled, wrestled well at 113, um, did a nice job. Uh, I think it looked like he controlled the match, which is what you want. He's, uh, Lucas is hard to wrestle, um, and, and Lucas can make things happen. So it was a good, good solid win for Shaver. I thought Fenton, you know, Fenton uh, did, he, he get, once again, he controlled the pace of the match. Uh, did a nice job at 120. Uh, his opponent was really good. Um, I mean, they're all good. They're in the state semifinals. I thought Burnett did a nice job at 26. Wrestled a tough kid. Carmody, hard to wrestle. He makes, does things when you're not expecting. He's funky. He's just really, really tough and hard to wrestle. So I thought getting out of there with a win for Mick was real good. Uh, reading, you know, it is what it is. He and he and uh, have wrestled many, many times throughout the years. And uh, you know, I was hoping to have a lead at the end of the period, end of the second period. Um, kind of limited some of our options in the third period. But it was, a, it was a really hard fought match for breeding, and, and, and he'll come back strong. So Farouk wrestled David Carr, and, and you know, when Farouk came off the mat, you know, at 152, he just said, wow, that, that guy's really good. So, you know, what are you going to do there? You got to come back hard. You know, you look at how you guys have done in the team, you know, you look at the depth of Division One. It, it's, it's so incredibly stacked. How do you keep the guys, getting these guys up? You know, Mick Burnett had a disappointing state tournament he placed. But now he's in the finals, up a weight, where maybe we didn't know where he was going to be over the summer. He was like this tweener guy. He grew into 126. Now he's in the state finals. First off, as a dad, I know that's the most important thing to use, being a dad. What's it mean as a dad for, for Mickey to be in the finals? Well, yeah, I mean, as a, to, to watch him go, go, go through the process and, and to embrace it and, and, and get after it, and I'm, all, I'm proud of him regardless of what happens here. Okay? And I told him that at the district tournament last week. You know, he, he's done what I've asked him to do. Um, and, and what I've recommended, and even beyond, he's taken some things on his own and he's done it. So I, I'm just proud. I'm proud of what he's doing. You know, I'm proud that his grades are good. I'm proud that he's a good kid, um, as far as I know. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. So whatever he does here, that's for him. That's always for him. And, and I, I, just, I just hope that he can realize his dreams. And that, that's the dad in me. Looking at, uh, you know, Fenton. Mm -hmm. Fenton is just a scrambly hard to wrestle guy he wrestles through all positions i mean that guy having a guy like that what it's been like coaching that guy for four years he's a two-time state champ right yeah. going for a third tomorrow yeah he's pretty good yeah yeah he's pretty good yeah he's uh he's just been a lot of fun you know and as you get to know brendan you know, he, he doesn't say a whole lot when you when you don't know him and he's one of those people that as you get to know him he talks more and he opens up more and he's been a lot of fun in that way you know as far as him winning or losing you know that's completely up to him you know as coaches we we tell them, you know what I mean, hey, you got to correct this, or, yeah, man, you're really good at this, or, you know, and I, I tell him how great he is because he's great, and, you know, if he goes out and he wrestles great and, and, and he wins, it's cool, but, and if he doesn't, and, he, and you know, he, he doesn't win, then the sky is not falling, you know, he's he's going to go on, he's going to do some cool things. Shawver. I've been coaching Shawver since he was five years old, man, you know, um, so I, I know him pretty well, he knows me pretty well, and, um, you know, he's another one. He's a natural born wrestler, okay? And, and, and if, and, you know, if he does the things right, if he does the things he's supposed to do, you know, managing his weight, doing things like that, he is phenomenal. You know, he doesn't get in his own way mentally. He, 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 you know, he, he goes into each match thinking he can win, and uh, he gets excited. He gets excited about the competition. There's not a competition out there he doesn't want to go to, to the point where you almost have to slow him down sometimes. So I'm just really glad to see him competing here on the last day and the last match on the, on the stage. It's awesome for him. What do you do from here to there? What goes on? Anything? Oh, we got. I mean, from, you mean from 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 here on out, or from here from, to tomorrow night? Oh man, I mean, they get some rest. Uh, we'll bring them in tomorrow. We got some. You know, Matt Zuckerman's gonna scrap tomorrow morning. He's he's gonna she's gonna go for seven. Farouk and uh, 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 Farouk is, 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 is and Josh are gonna be trying to get third place. Josh breeding. You know, um, so they they have their scrapping to do. We'll bring the kids over here about 10:30. The guys are gonna wrestle in the finals and. Um, and uh, we'll do a workout, have them go through some stuff, go over some stuff with them. Mick's going to come over early with, uh, with breeding. They've been training partners a lot this year, so he's going to help Josh get ready for his, uh, his 10 o'clock match. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, um, we're just going to do that. We're going to go from there. And, and hopefully, I hope, you know, they're out of here. Hopefully they're relaxing, grabbing a bite to eat, and uh, just, just getting positive. You know what I mean? Just 
you got you to be positive. That's a big thing. You come in and you think, you, you got you to believe you're going to get this done, you know, no matter what place you're going for. You know, I got a guy that wrestled, wrestled his heart out, man. He's a 160-pounder. You know, uh, he's a freshman, Jake Evans. That kid's got a big future, bright future. But it's like I told him in the car, you know, he went one and two. And I said, you know, what I think about you is you expect it to do well here. You didn't, you didn't just come down here just to be down here. He expected to do well. And when you expect to do well, you're going to deal with disappointment on occasion. And it's what you do with that disappointment. And I know what Jake is going to do with that. So we're already starting the process, man. All right, Coach. You guys got to go get something to eat. You got anything else for me? No, nah, man. I'm, I'm just uh, I, I'm real proud. Look at you. You, know, you, you got you got San Edward. You got Braxville. You got Wadsworth. You got Mass and Perry. You got LaSalle. Uh, okay, and you look at the number semifinals just within those programs, you know, and and, and to see that, that, that you know we're there and, and, and everybody everybody's competing and it's really cool, you know, because we we all work together in the off season for the most part, you know, all all these kids and coaches work together in the off season, and I just think it's really cool to, to watch them come in here and battle and bang and and uh, you know you, you hope to win, but in, in, in the end, you know, what are you going to get out of it? And that's that's what it's all about, you know, what are you, you going to get out of this? Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow, Coach. All right. Thanks.